happened to great pace was that, uh, number one, they imposed their will with the backs against the wall. That's right. That they were going to get this game. And so they, they were mentally prepared for that. That's right, Pingo. I think they wanted to come out smoking in the first quarter because they want to take the crowd away from the, uh, uh, the home court advantage, as you would say, for Ginebra, you know. Go to a big lead and take that crowd, make them quiet. And the second point, uh, Michael Young, in spite of his injury, is not even thinking about it. Dynamite uh, is rested. We have uh, La Tosa. La Tosa. Saldi La Tosa coming into the ball game. He's out, back in the ball game. He will put it up hard. Oh, Jaworski blocked from the blind side by Kai Dick. They have five seconds to put it up. What a spin by yes. Quadless. No better guy to do it. And a 47 first quarter for the uh, Great Taste Coffee Makers. 47-23 for Great Taste. The Coffee Makers of Great Taste drop a huge hydrogen bomb, and they are now in front by 24 points, their biggest lead as we start the second quarter. And as Andy reports in the first quarter stats, don't be staggered. Just hang on to your chair. 71% field goal shooting for Great Taste Coffee Makers against 40% for Hinebra. 12 rebounds apiece for both teams. 10 assists for Great Taste as compared to 3 for Hinebra. And Great Taste did not commit a turnover in the first quarter. They had 4 or 5 interceptions in that first quarter. A one-hand drive on a fast break. It is quadless and that was initiated by the reaching in qualities of Ricardo Brown. Certainly, Great Taste looking for revenge against Hinebra San Miguel, whom they beat twice in the elimination. But when it counted, Hinebra came up with a one-point victory, 119 to 118. They want to make sure, you know, that they can get a good lead and put this game away as much as possible. Good pass by Ricardo Brown to Kai Dick, another assist for him. 47 points at the end of the first quarter. That's right, uh, Pingoy. We also got reports. It's a conference high for any team. And so far, the conference high for points scored in this conference was is also being held by the Great Taste Coffee Makers. Follow up shot there for Ampalaya. Well, during the first quarter, Michael Young scored 21 points and two rainbow shots. Ricardo Brown knocking in 16. Cesar had two points, a speed from Fabiosa before he hurt his hand. Heidek with three points and Quadlis with two. Miscommunication between Young and Brown. He was looking at the basket for a possible follow-up. Ampalayo, back-to-back baskets. Tries to get the team back, you know. And he's really developed into a super power forward for the team. But it is 51-29 for Great Taste Coffee. An uphill climb for Ginebra. Three-point shot by Atoy Ko. Offline. Here is Jaworski. He will do a one-hander. The barreling J. And that really gets the crowd up. A 6 to nothing blast by Hinebra San Miguel. Cuts down that lead to 20. Eight points for Jaworski, making his first four during the first quarter. He's also pulled down two rebounds, one and one. Michael Hackett continues to keep an eye on Young. They slow down the tempo of a ball game. Young taking it from outside. It's a three-point shot. That'll be his third rainbow shot. 24 points now for Michael Young. Hackett, on the other hand, had 10 points during the first quarter, and he has pulled down six rebounds, two points, the first two coming from Isaac. Improved shooting now on the part of the Ginebra San Miguel squad. Brown gets shot clubbered, block. yes. Good shot block by Don Don Ampalayo. Going to the big J, drive and draw. Look at the hustle of Sonny Jaworski keeping the ball alive, and they score. Michael Young found himself outside the court, and he thought that they were going to have possession. That's right. So he just parked for a while, trying to catch his second breath. And then he was a little bit too late in coming to defense. He says, here they come. After it called misses on a drive. Hinebra is on the move. They're taking it step by step. An air pass going to Ampalayo. A turnaround shot. And he gets it. Ampalayo with six points in this quarter. Highest lead of 26 has been cut down to 17, Pingoy. And Hinebra never tasted the lead and never got the first basket. It was great taste that got off their placing start, six to nothing. It is now 54-37 for great taste. Ricardo Brown from Rainbow Country, back rim shot. Latosa at the stretch, we get the defensive rebound. Here is the big J. And the quick Brown Fox with his quick hands. After it caught press going to Hackett. Here he comes for a basket. Yes, sir. 
Atletico with some very crucial miscues here. The lead has been cut down to uh, 15 points. A 14 to 3 blast of 3 coming from the 3 point shot of Michael Young. And the fans of Inerba San Miguel, they're alive. Can you imagine playing Inerba in the court with this type of a momentum and then the crowd? You gotta go nuts. Yes, pardon. If that lead wasn't this big, if it had been about 15, they would have been in trouble. Uh, Baby the Lupin senses it, he calls a timeout. After, after trailing by 24 points, a 14-3 to roll here established by Hidebra San Miguel and Coach Baby D reacts to the situation and makes some adjustments by fielding back the scholar Philip Cesar because he does not like the interior defense of Great Taste Coffee. You are very correct, Pingoy. Uh, Ampalaya has been getting away, uh, getting away with undergo shots and certainly Jaworski has driven in a couple of times here in the second quarter. At the same time, there's a three-point shot by Kai Dick. Same time, he sends in Ramos, whom he knows can help out in uh, rebounds. There's Ramos diving for the ball, causing Isaac to lose the ball to the end line. Uh, who's this guy? Ampalayo, I'm sorry. Ampalayo may have hurt himself trying to dive for the loose ball. He's still on the floor. Time is 7 and 29. He's holding onto his ankle, Pingoy. And a 30-second injury timeout is being given. Watch it once more. I'm looking for the ankles. Oh, yes. A player from Great East landed on it, Ramos but actually. I think uh, he'll be able to shake it off. He's got to work on it, and uh, during our time, so we were playing tennis, we'd always get that uh, two orange bottle. Yes, and roll it there. But uh, there was a guy we used to have here in the pros who was known as the Iron Man. If you remember him, Jimmy Noblesada. The late Jimmy. Yes, and, you know, no, he's, he just retired from the games. So. And he's a businessman right now. I, I still see him a lot, you know. And uh, Jimmy, oh, yes, you're right, you're right. Jimmy, it's a different Jimmy I was referring to. Yes, Jimmy would just, you're talking about Jimmy Otaso. Yes, I'm sorry. And Jimmy would just uh, shake it off by pounding it on the floor, you know. That's why they call him the Iron Man. Yes. And it is now 54 39 for Great Days Coffee. On the match appears in Ever Defense. It's Isaac on Ricardo Brown. Michael Hackett, as usual, against Young. They go to Ricardo Brown, is open. That's a very good play. The big man, Michael Young, screening for Ricardo Brown. No way that the guard of Ricardo could fight that screen. It left him with an open shot. Here is Jaworski. Ramos on him. Tough player, too. Posting Lois Hackett. Trying to look for a cutter. Timing his move. Offline. Tap going to Cesar. Here is Ricardo Brown. What a pass. What a bounce pass. Play completed by Cesar. If you make that kind of a pass to a veteran like Philip Cesar, you know he's going to put in the two points. So you're very relaxed. You know? Ramos doing some good defense against Sonny Jaworski. Isaac recovers with 13 seconds left on their shot clock. Time is 6 and 35. We're in the second quarter. Score standing at 58 39 for Great Days Coffee. They go to Hackett. He's got two seconds left. And the 25 second shot clock is going to catch up with them. By the way, our greetings to Mayor Jojo Binay and the people of Makati on the occasion of Makati's 416th anniversary. And in case you don't know, Mayor Binay has lined up a number of activities for the whole week to celebrate Araw ng Makati. It's going to be another foul on Michael Hackett. That's going to be his third personal foul. Just like to report to you during that four to three roll by Ineba San Miguel. Six points coming from Ampalaya. Jaworski knocked in four points out of his eight. Four points from Isaac. All of them happening during the second quarter. And then you had two points coming from Hackett out of his 12. And when that was happening, the great taste coffee makers were quiet. There was a basket, a rainbow shot from Michael Young, a two-pointer coming from Ricardo Brown, who now has 18. Two follow-ups there for the great taste coffee makers the ball wouldn't fall in Isaac is open from 15 he did not get the shooter's bounce with Cesar under the basket he prevents Ginebra from taking the offensive boards and going for seconds that's right quickly to Young who turns around letting go yes Young shooting over Dante Gonsalvo who is about three four inches shorter than he is had no problems making the shot. He has 26 points in the ball game right now. And Michael Young has knocked in three rainbow shots, 21 points during the first quarter. And has also pulled down nine rebounds, five and four. You get a basket from Dante.